Previously on All My Dabbler. The DNA test is determined. It is your engine. <gasps> no! So I really like this HO engine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take one of these home and play with it tonight. We know it's not your scale. What are you talking about? I can be whatever scale I want to be. You believe in the third rail? Oh, lies! Lies! Sir, I'm afraid it's the Dakota. Your locomotive will never run again. No! You're cheating on Digitrax with NCE? NCE can run trains like Digitrax never could. Sir, the building you bought is the wrong size. Total comes to five thousand one hundred eighty-two dollars and eighty-eight cents. Will the credit card go through or not? Find out on this week's episode of All My Dabbler. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, everyone's favorite train store. And we are so excited to show you some brand new items. So hopefully, we'll get their way back on your layout pulling trains and having fun in no time. So we're gonna, not going to waste any time. We're going to get started with these HO Atlas Train Man 68-foot flat cars, and I think you're really going to enjoy these. As you can see here, I have a couple of different ones to take a look at. Believe it or not, this is a mint green Union Pacific car, and that is, is really cool. You don't usually see mint green in Union Pacific. I have here the DODX flat car. I have here a shorthead bulkhead flat car. That is the Cascade. And then, of course, we all know what this yellow one is going to be. It's going to be the TTX. I have the GATX, and I love the color of that blue. I think that blue really pops out. That is just such a great-looking design there. And Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Finally, we're going to wrap it up with the MDW. And this is a great-looking car here as well. I just love the designs on these cars here, and they are incredibly affordable too. As a matter of fact, these cars retail for $32.95. We're selling them here for $22.99. So not only is that a great deal, but I have a whole bunch of different road numbers for these cars. So if you wanted to do a whole long unit train of a bunch of flat cars, well, this is a great way to go. Atlas Train Man is a great line. It's very economical, but... They are nicely designed, and they have great-looking parts to them. I have die-cast metal wheels happening there. These cars just glide over the rails effortlessly. These are just awesome-looking cars here, and I know you're really going to enjoy that. Just look at the detailing there. I know there's not a lot to put on a flat car, but Atlas found a way to make it look great. All right, so again, these cars retail for $22.99. Rather, that's what we're selling them for. And I think you're going to love them. Get a nice long flat car unit train going there. There's no better way to say all aboard than getting a bunch of flat cars on your railroad. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these before they're on someone else's layout. Do you need some little people or figurines to populate your model railroad industry? Well, we got you covered with all of these different Woodland Scenic kits. And I have just a smattering of the kits we have because, believe it or not, I have probably 100 different ones in both HO and N scale. But let's check out some of these, for example. These are youth football players. And look at those guys. Those look really neat. Have a little football scene you could get happening here. Gone fishing. Many of you like to model maybe a fisherman scene. Maybe you have a lake or a river. I think those guys will look awesome there. We got some hobos. Yeah, every railroad needs some hobos, right? We have here, ooh, firemen to the rescue. And I love that, especially with the little uh, Dalmatian dog there. You got the ladder. That's a great looking kid. And then I just love the name of this one, People and Pesky Raccoons. I mean, how great is that? A little, little raccoon on the end of the broom there. Ah! You see that? It's okay, Engineer Hall. It's just a model. It's just a model, okay? Okay. All right. Whew, whew. Got a little scared there. So anyway, these are available on our website, yankeedabbler.com. All you need to do is just type in the different types of woodland scenic people that you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for baseball players, yard workers, construction workers, whatever. Type those in in the search engine. The appropriate one will come up for you. And you get your railroad populated in no time. Just uh, watch out for the raccoon one because apparently it's a little scary. 
So our last show, we showed a whole bunch of diesel locomotives, and it got a very positive response. As a matter of fact, someone actually sent us a letter. said, Dear DJ, great show. Love the diesels. Please show more of them. Signed, E-H. E-H. Doesn't that stand for Engineer Hall? Eh, maybe. Okay, well, we are going to be showing some more diesels, and so we're going to go back to N-Scale Land. I haven't been there in a while. We're going to take a look at these diesel locomotives from Atlas. Check out these N-Scale puppies, shall we? Now, these are the U25B diesel locomotives from Atlas. And before we get into the details with these engines, I should let you know that these are just DCC-powered locomotives, okay? So there's no system, a sound system built in here. However, they are DCC uh, ready to go, so they will run on your DCC system. You'll just have to make the train sounds yourself, I guess, or upgrade it to a decoder at your own time. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different ones here. For example, I actually have a de undecorated version here. I have the Great Northern, the Southern Pacific, the Erie Lackawanna, Conrail, the Rock Island, and the Santa Fe. Now, these diesel engines are very cool, and they are very uh, economically friendly. They retail for $159.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $109.99. Awesome deal to get on the diesel locomotive. If you're not looking to spend a whole bunch of money, you can always get one of these engines in. As I said, maybe down the road, add some sound to it. And the undecorated one's very cool uh, because if you wanted to come up with your own design for these engines, some of us I know are really good painters, so they want to come up with their own designs for these locomotives. So I think you're really going to like them there. This is just a fantastic looking engine. As a matter of fact, one of our employees, Christian, actually came up with a design for his. And, um, yeah, it's not the best, but mm. you probably could do better, I guess. So, anyway, I think you uh, could do a little better decorating. So, go get some of these engines on your railroad. And even though they don't have sound, let's see uh, what they look like in action. We'll run around with a little contest so you can see what these engines look like in action. All aboard. Once again, these engines are $109.99. It's a great deal. It's a great running engine. So come to Yankee Dabble and get these on your area today. Time to take a look at some new HO engines. And once again, we have some from Atlas. Check out these engines here. I have the U30C Norfolk Southern Diesel Locomotive. And that is a cool look there. I like the six-wheel uh, axle truck design here. I love the protruding bell that's up here. There's a lot of great details, even though this is an Atlas product. There's a lot of detail that goes onto these engines, and it looks fantastic. So that is the U30C. And then these are the B23-7. This is the Southern Railroad, and this is the High Hood version. And that has a lot of great looking detail on it as well. And then I have two Conrail diesel locomotives here. They're both, again, the B23-7s. But I have two different uh, liveries here. This one is the As Delivered paint scheme, whereas this one is a little bit later in service. They added the uh, white stripe on the bottom here. We have a little uh, black happening up there. So a little bit di different design there. So you can model a different time era if you so choose. And the neat thing about these engines is I have a couple of different road numbers. So if I wanted to get a couple of different engines to pull a train, well, I got the ability to do that here. So these are great looking engines. Now, the B23-7 retails for $289.95, but we're selling it here for $199.95. Anytime you can get an engine under $200, that's a win in my book. And then the U30C retails for $279.95, but we're selling that one for $189.95. So great bargains on these diesel locomotives. So let's see what they look like in action. They do have DCC, they do have sound, so... Let's get going because I love to play with trains. All aboard. Let's start them up. Here is the horn. The bell. 
<laughs> Light the bell. And away we go. Let's pick up the flag card, Sam, while we're over here. So those are fun sounding diesel locomotives. I really like the bell there. I think they're just great. They're under two hundred dollars. So I don't know what you're doing. Get these engines on your railroad today before they roll away. Thank you very much for tuning into our show here at What's New at Yankee Dab. But of course, every day is a train show. Hopefully, we found something that will find its way on your layout. And if whatever you saw, you want to get it in your car on your layout. You can find it at yankeedabbly.com or you can visit our store located in Belmar, New Jersey. We're open Tuesdays through Saturdays, nine to five. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, I don't know what you're doing. You're going to click that subscribe button and you're going to get caught up on all the latest and greatest videos we have coming out, including our Spring Layout Spectacular. Woo! It's going to be great yeah. if you don't know how this works. What you're going to do is you're going to take a video or a photograph or a, I guess a, a painting, etching, I don't know if you're good at drawing, of your layout. You're going to submit it to Engineer Hall channel at gmail.com. Get that in. We'll take a look at our layout. It's always great to see what our people, uh, fans of our show, of our channel, what they do with their trains. And it's just great. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to make the cutoff day for that April 17th. 2022 uh so that's easter so make sure that you get those videos and photographs in otherwise you can't participate but it's going to be great check out the fall layout extravaganza if you don't know what i'm talking about here because it was great to see what people have done and hopefully we get to see some brand new ones as a matter of fact one person actually has his layout built on the international space station or not i don't know it could happen so you'll just have to watch and find out so make sure you submit those videos and stay tuned Speaking of videos, we're going to conclude this week's show with a RailFam video. We're going to go back to the Strasburg Rail. We're going to take a look at that J engine number 611 going through the Lancaster countryside. Now, if you excuse me, we got to get back to our soap opera because I have to see whether my credit card went through or not. Not. Oh. Uh, Ken, I got a lot of Monopoly money. Will you take that? Excuse me, guys. Got to take care of this. Well, what, what about favors? You know, I, I'm good at cutting the lawn.
Und, ja, 